day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. Today's beer is back behind me, sent to me by Brian. Thank you very much, Brian. This beer is from Cold Break, which is a new brewery. Well, new, well, it, it wasn't there when I used to live in Niagara, so within the last two years, Cold Break is in the Niagara region. Uh, I believe they're in St. Catharines. Let's just, yeah, St. Catharines. Cold Break Brewing, St. Catharines, Ontario. Product of Canada, this is their Cream Ale. So, uh, it says over here, crispy, uh, 4.1% alcohol back here. It says crispy. So I'm going to guess it's called crispy cream ale. And if I was to guess as to why it's called crispy cream ale, I would assume that it's using, uh, I would assume that it's using, oh, what was the company in Niagara Falls that did, um, escarpment laboratories, crispy yeast strain. That would be my guess. We'll find out in a second. Lively carbonation and a hint of sweetness. Makes this cream ale uh, ideal whenever you need a cold break to quench your thirst. Ingredients, water, malted barley, corn, yeast, and hops. And it doesn't say anything, but I would uh, make a break for it. Cold break brewing. But yeah, a lot of breweries will make a, a crispy, spelt with the K, uh, beer. In Ontario, uh, there's even some in Quebec and such, and usually they're using the Escarpment Labs uh, crispy yeast strain. Whether or not that's what's in this, I don't know. I know nothing about these guys. They had two beers that I was able to get, um, well, that Brian was able to get for me. So thank you very much, Brian. 4.1% alcohol. Corn in here. Of course there's corn in here. A proper, a proper cream ale should have some corn. And wow, I didn't realize how hard my water was lately. Um, it's not usually that bad. It's usually bad, but not that bad. Wow. Mm. So one last look at the cold break. Bright white head. Slight haze to it. On top of the uh, bubbles clinging to the side. Bright white head. Lots of snap, crackle, pop. Has that macro-esque smell to it that a cream ale would normally have. That, that bougie type of beer smell. Just sweetness. Soggy bread. A little bit of cardboard. Cardboard, soggy bread. Sweetness. Cheers. It's a cream ale. It's a cream ale. I mean, medium mouthfeel, but medium mouthfeel in that it kind of clings to your tongue and everything else, but it's fairly light at the same time. Very Pilsner-esque in the flavor, to be honest. I mean, it's cream ale-ish. It really is. It tastes like a cream ale, but it has it has more hops on the back end than I'm used to in a cream ale. A cream ale should be should be fairly fairly blah, but refreshing. This is refreshing, but it's not blah. It has it has a lot more hop bite on the back end. Very pilsner esque on the back end. Kind of spicy. Kind of uh, kind of spicy. Kind of grassy. Kind of. A little bit of straw, grass, spice. Forefront, pretty muted. A little bit of sweetness. Just regular beer sweetness. All in all, this is this is a proper beer. Get that thing cold. You could drink it all day, any day. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to give that a 7, 5 out of 10. I could drink that with my buddies. I could drink that on my own. It's a good tasting beer. And if you're a macro beer guy, it's a good introductory into craft beer. Because it has more flavor than most macro beers. But it's not overpowering. Anyway, thank you guys. Bye.